somebody that cried out for something special. You know, hearing loss um, isn't life-threatening, but it's quality of life-threatening. And I think that when we saw her quality of life not be affected by this, and just to see her being a happy, typical child, and the cochlear implants have allowed her to, to live a life like that and to be integrated and present with everyone and communicate easily. I mean, that's just, it's priceless, really. Good job, let's give her a hand. Sometimes somebody asks me of what those things are on your ears when I have my hair in a ponytail. And, and I tell them, they can help me here. If I have them off, I can't hear. We have three daughters, and most people, um, when they come, you know, I have families come over and meet her, and they and they say, now which one is hearing impaired? And that is really, you know, the greatest reward because we're just we forget that she has hearing loss. She does so well. She's such a good performer. So it's it's really a non-issue now. Something that seemed um, like a big obstacle at first now is, is a non-issue for her and for us.